Hi everybody, Bex here, and today I will be going over a brief history of the Wells Fargo uh, telegraph and mail services. So, uh, meeting customers' needs in, since 1852. Um, the name Wells Fargo has excited our imagination for generations, symbolizing secure banking and express services for pioneers. Overland travel by stagecoach and Pony Express riders who connected America from coast to coast. On March 18, 1852, Wells Fargo and Company was born in New York City. Inspired by the discovery of gold in California in 1848, two successful expressmen, Henry Wells and William G. Fargo, founded an express and banking business that would connect the vibrant East Coast with remote gold fields out West. Connecting the East and the West. Wells Fargo opened for business in New York and soon after in San Francisco and San Francisco on July 13, 1852. The new enterprise offered banking services and dependable mail delivery to the pioneers of the Pacific Coast and carried gold and letters back east. Wells Fargo agents established a reputation for service and fairness to all who walked in their doors. In 1864, Henry Wells summoned up the company's philosophy, quote, there was one very powerful business rule. It was con concentrated in the world word courtesy, end quote. In 1888, the philosophy was further spelled out in instructions to, co to company employees, quote, proper respect must be shown to all. Let them be men, women, or children, rich, poor, white, or black, end quote. Stagecoach to Railroad. By the 1860s, people needed faster travel and mail service across the nation, and the stagecoach stage was the swiftest method. In 1866, Wells Fargo managed the largest stagecoach operation in the world. The six-horse Concord stagecoach became a vital link between communities and a symbol of speed and reliability. Wells Fargo also used ships and trains to carry its express shipments. By the time the United States entered World War I in 1917, the company's nationwide service included 10,000 offices, along 80,000 miles of railroads. Wells Fargo also had overseas express operations in Japan, Australia, Hong Kong, Central and South America, and Europe. The company's slogan, The Fargo Way, referred to the promise that all customers' business would be handled with care and on time. In 1918, the federal government nationalized all major express operations as a wartime measure, abruptly leaving Wells Fargo with only one business, banking, at a single San Francisco office. Uh, growth in banking. After World War I, Wells Fargo Bank continued to support communities with banking services to merchants and farmers. It was one of the few banks that paid regular dividends during the Great Depression. After World War II, the bank responded to meet the expanding need for financial services with auto, home, and business loans. It offered innovative ways to serve a new generation on the move by adding neighborhood branch offices and motor banking. Wells Fargo also adopted new banking technology such as ATMs in 1970, 
giving customers access to their accounts 24 hours a day. With the arrival of the digital age, Wells Fargo became the first bank to offer secure internet banking in 1995 and mobile phone banking in 2007. Today the bank is a diversified financial services company that adheres to its original vision of helping satisfy all its customers' financial needs. You can explore the extraordinary story of the company's legacy and all people at 11, 11 Wells Fargo Museums, each a unique experience, experience pre presenting the shared history of Wells Fargo and the local community. And the museum locations, um, there's uh, one in San Francisco, Sacramento, two in Sacramento, Los Angeles, San Diego, Minneapolis, Portland, Phoenix, Alaska Heritage Museum, Philadelphia, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Des Moines, Iowa. Um, and with that, uh, if you want the addresses or phone numbers to any of these uh, locations, um, DM me on Twitter at Bex1221. Um, space the fam. Uh, I'm not sure if I changed it, but I think it's Bex1221. I'll have to check. Um, I'll leave it uh, down in the description on my uh, Twitter so, so you could DM me. And doesn't look like there is a website. But there are a f few pictures that I would like to show you that are on here. So, Stagecoach, which is circa, or it was built in 1897. And then one of their ads from 1915. And then they also have that. So it's kind of cool. So, um, uh, yeah, DM me if you want more information or the addresses if you want to check out their museums in any of those places and thanks for stopping by and watching and i hope you enjoyed the the information and we'll talk soon bye